sure now, Madame Dulay, have I proven my ability to you? Yes, that was most impressive. I feel quite reassured. Congratulations, miss. Now you can find out what this case is all about at last. Now, but before that, we explore. Yeah, there really are a lot of cat stuff. Cat toys here, aren't there? Jesus. Oh dear. Oh, look at this portrait! What's up, pussycat? There's a puzzle hidden behind these pictures. Do you see? Cheryl, why don't you pound? You try to pound out the answer? <laughs> Robots take the cake too. Oh dear. Not this one again. Make sure the factory robots place strawberries on all cakes passing by at the, on the conveyor belts. When you select the robot, it places the strawberry, blah blah. Yeah, I already know how this works. Yeah, no, I already messed up, I can't really tell. Well, uh, see you guys in a few while I try to figure this puzzle out. Much, much, much later. This one, then this one, I believe. At this point, I'm just going for the board. Let's see if that's gonna work. I think I messed up there. No, no, it's like this. I got it. A good puzzle is something you have to chew over. They do call me Sherlock Holmes Combs for nothing. You did it. I bet Alexi Lipsky wishes he had some robot help once in a while. Well, I certainly was expecting to find a puzzle behind the painting, or be made to solve it. There are puzzles everywhere in the world, Shul. It keeps us on our toes, doesn't it? Or in your case, on your paws. Again, go for the likes. Most of the time they tend to have coins. Aha! I have a feeling there's one more on here somewhere. I think I only found three, right? Two, right? Eh, if I don't find any, I'll... Eh, probably not gonna be the worst. I'm afraid you have to ask madame if there is anything you need to know. Okay. So, madame, perhaps you could tell us what is it, is it that you want, would like us to do? Naturally. That's the whole reason I ask you here. It's really quite simple. My poor Rex vanished yesterday, you see. We simply had to find him for me. I see. And this Rex is a Rexy Waxy you mentioned before, I presume. Yes, my beloved pet. Oh no, Rexy Wax is so much more than a pet. He's family, I tell you. 
As a guy who owns two cats, I can't exactly say I don't understand her. If one of my cats were to disappear, by god, I'd be worried sick about them. They're pretty much family at this point. And you say Rexy Waxy vanished. That's right. Oh, it's too awful. I've looked everywhere for him, but he's nowhere to be seen. Oh, Rexy Waxy, where have you gone? It's a mystery, Miss Layton. A complete mystery. Please, don't trouble yourself, madame. When I investigate, I leave no stone unturned. We will find him. Gosh, a member of the family missing. How terrible for you. We'll track down Rex without a moment's delay. Oh, please do. I am simply beside myself with worry. So, madam, I'd like to ask you a few questions about your missing pet, if I may. Oh, yes, of course. I should do anything I can to assist. Oh, my goodness. What's the matter? Look at that time! I'm terribly sorry, but I have a l luncheon engagement? X luncheon. Dear me, my appetite isn't up to too much at the moment, but one must keep up appearances no matter what. Um, just, just a moment, madame. I would never assist you in your search if I could, but these business luncheons are quite unavoidable. Still, I'm confident I can rely on you. You'll find my Rexy Waxy for me, won't you? Now do excuse me. Ew. Well, the great dame really gave us a lot to go on there, didn't she? <laughs> yes, the creature's name is about all that she actually told us. This is going to be a challenge. Maybe the maid could help us. No clues, no nothing. Well, that's far from ideal, but we'll just have to work with what we have. What we have? We have nothing but a name, and a stupid one of that, especially for a cat. There is no such thing as an easy job, sure. So, where to start, detective? You're still on that, are you? Alright then, we start? Yes, we start right here in this room. The foundation of all good detective work is investigation. We need to sift out more information about this Rexy Waxy. Well, we're in charge, sure. so let's start investigating. I mean, he's not actually wrong. Investigation do start from there. So maybe the maid could be of help. Madame is very busy, you know, every single day. Yes, as a matter of interest, what line of business is she? Oh, Madame is a consultant to a multinational retailer with 27 different departments selling everything from cat food to expensive jewelry. Jesus Christ! Gosh, that is a broad range. Yes, so she really treasures her time with Rex, you see. It's such a soothing influence on her. Finding Rex will soothe me too at the moment, believe me. Again, we didn't actually get a clue of what the heck Rex is supposed to be. Everyone's assuming it's a cat, who knows, maybe it's a dog. Oh, hint coin, nice. Now let's see, oh. That does look like it's an antique. It's rather understandable, but I expect it's worth to his most fortune. And let's not forget the obvious. The whooping gray stuff cat sitting on it. It's cute, isn't it? I wish I had one. Cute? Really? I think so, don't you? Oh yes, of course. Of course, the rooms would agree with cat and everything. Though you could never rival you, miss, naturally. It's strange, though. Cats are usually very destructive creatures, but there are no signs of scratching or gnawing on any of the toys. Hmm. No claw marks and no teeth. Sorry, no claw marks and no teeth marks. No, he yeah, actually has a point. Again, I owe two cats. They are lovable and all that, but when they want to, they can be very destructive. Well, to furniture like sofa and the like. Ah. So Rexy Rexy is an upper crust kind of cat. Scratch and gnaw are beneath him. Oh Johnny Gucho! You're a real you're like a real detective. That is like an interesting clue to actually notice, not gonna lie. Oh! Puzzle. There's another cat toy here as well. They're they're everywhere. Oh that reminds me of a puzzle I know about cats. Huh? Pierre the Cat. Is that a poem on Freddy Cat? 
These ten casts need to be, up to, to be divided up into pairs in accordance with the following rules. There should be three care, three pairs of cats of the same type in other ones. The same shape and coloring. If a cat is wearing a ribbon, the other cat in the pair must also be wearing a ribbon. Okay. So, like this. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, cause here it's saying that there must be three pairs of cats of the same type. There have to be three pairs. So here, one, two, three. If a cat is wearing a ribbon, the other cat in the pair must also be wearing a ribbon. These two are wearing one, and so are these two. So hopefully I'm right. Please. Honestly, I'm terrified of being wrong at this point. I think I got it. A good puzzle is something you have to chew over. Oh. That was too easy. I kind of agree with him. That was like a surprisingly easy. You did it. They're all getting along perfectly. Pairing them up first by ribbon and then by type makes it easy to see the solution. Honestly, pairing either way works, really. Very good, Cheryl. You should you should earn you a that should earn you a doggy tree. Well, you know, it was nothing really. So in the most prominent position at the center of the room, we have a large bunch of flowers and a soft toy cat. We just go to show how much he adores cats, surely. Hmm, a cat lover. Well, I think I've explored a hole in here enough, don't you? Madame Dubois certainly has a lot of cat toys around the place, that's for sure. Yes, gosh. If she's this, if she's this much of a cat lover, Rex must be spoiled rotten. It's not much of a deduction, but I suppose that's about the only tale this room tells. Well, Shrill, do you know where Rex is then? We've looked at the table and the desk and she's asking me if I know where the cat is. I think we're gonna have to broaden our search. Is I going for a needle in the haystack though? His mention is simply vast. Where do we start? Um, excuse me, um, detectives. I hope you don't mind interrupting. Madame did say she was happy for you to look around the resin if you if you be of help. Ah, uh, thank you very much. I wonder. Could you tell us which room Rex spends most of his time in? Yes, of course. That would be Madame's parlor. He gets a lot of sun, you see. Rex always enjoys napping in the sunshine. I see. We'd like to investigate the room if we, if we may. Although I imagine it's been cleaned and made up since Rex's appearance, has it? Oh no, Miss Madame was very clear on that. We, we must leave the scene completely undisturbed, she said. That is actually like, very useful and very helpful. Thank you, Madame Dublin. Perfect. Could you show us the way then? Certainly, Miss. Follow me. Found a clue cat toys and ornaments. Again, I have a feeling Rex isn't like gonna be a cat, it's gonna be a dog or something else. I don't know why. More cat toys, Jesus. This is Madame's parlor. Madame's parlor. As I explained, she did say she we shouldn't mind if you need to look around. I must only ask that you be careful of the furniture in Normans. It's all very expensive, you see. Gosh, my pound are sweating just hearing you say that. Oh yes, one more thing. There's actually a picture of Rex in here which might help you. If you saw her left there, do you see? Oh, so it is a cat. So that's who we're looking for. You know that Rex is a boy, I presume? Yes, we realize that, thank you. I hate it when he goes missing, I do hope you find him quickly. Don't worry, this case is in safe hands with myself and my detective assistant agent Shirley here. Shirley, miss? That short for Shirley? <laughs> no, Shirley is my dog's name, and he's a he. Oh, how interesting. Your dog is a detective as well. Well, Shirley. 
I do hope find Rex soon. He's very special. Woof. <laughs> Pretend to be a normal dog for the maid's benefit, are you? I'll consider of you. Hmm. So then, let's see what we can discover in this room. Isn't it a lovely space? It's so inviting. I've got my eye on one of these plush sofas myself. So this where Rex spends most of his time, which means we could very well discover an important clue in here that will lead us to, miss to the missing animal's whereabouts. So get on with it, Cheryl. Go, boy, go find a clue. I thought I was in charge of this investigation. Stop trying to take the lead. I'm still the manager of the latest detective agency, Cheryl. You work for me, remember? Hmm. It's a dog's life. Good luck, Cheryl. I'm sure you'll find something. Come along, there's no time for sitting still. We need to have a good look around in here. Oh, you can zoom in on that. Interesting. But first save. Can zoom what have you for zoom in? Oh wait, I just saw the fruits are actually better than too, aren't they? There's some rather exactly looking fruits here. Those some appear to have been nibbled at, yeah. Presumably presumably Rex doing? Because cats are so unknown for eating fruit, aren't they, pinstripes? Maybe it was a bowl of fish. Perhaps Madame Dublé was hungry and couldn't resist taking a bite? Because all to do ladies are so well known for their lousy manners. Come on, people! Well, can you be certain it wasn't her? Not certain, no. But I think it's safe to assume it wasn't her. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Probably. Is that all I have here? Oh yeah, probably this. Nice. This cat looks like it's putting on putting on airs. Oh, I think it's champion! Such a dignified and refined look. Ooh. <laughs> the souvenir of summer, it's a papoyo. I agree. He's saying, is it just me or does anyone else think this pen looks like it's been eaten? And yeah, so again, I know cats, so I do know how they generally behave. My cats sometimes love to be able to plant on the plants we have on our... What's the name? On our window. Hmm. I wonder why there would be teeth marks on a plant. Why would there be teeth marks like this? Ah, well, I think you'll find that while cats are carnivorous creatures, they do at times eat plants. So I expect this to be Rex doing. Really? Cats eat plants? How would they do that? To have them re regurgitate hairs and other unwanted things in their stomachs, or for nutrients, there are numerous theories. Although I'm not entirely sure they normally, they normally eat this kind of plant. That is like a clue! Cause... Cause maybe Rex ended up going outside because, well, he needed to eat the plant to help with his stomach because he ate the... Oh, I think I'm starting to figure out what happened. So, Rex apparently took a nibble of these fruits, did not go out with his stomach or something like that, he ate the plant, it wasn't good for him, then he went outside the window to the yard looking for a plant, didn't find it, probably went through the... Sorry? Through the small hole in the gate outside. At least that's my theory. You know, it's amazing. You are 100% wrong. I mean, nothing you've said has been right. Do you think this thing would make a great for make a great pillow? Wait. Oh, Joy. Oh, there's a puzzle here. Look, one of Madame Du I suppose. Are you going to try your paw at it? <laughs> Baffling bookcase, bigodji. No. I am currently recording. Uh, 
Wait, I, I can't see the Gwaji. No. There. There's a photograph of a strange bookcase where up and downs don't seem to make sense. To read the books as in the picture, what is the minimum number that would need to, to be glued on the bookcase to keep them in position? Wait, what? To read the books as in, as in the picture, what is the minimum number that would need to be glued? Um, you can't squash books into place by jamming them up close together, by the way. Uh. Wait. What if... I wonder if this is what I think it is. Mm, this should do it, I think. And oh. that's how it's done. Yeah, I thought so. Because honestly, it felt odd to me because... You did it, the book is lying down on the floor, you would just need to place the books in the right position. And there would be no need to fix any of them down. Yeah, that's what I thought was the case, because because in the top row there was a num there was I think nine on the lower one, eight, in the middle row three there was supposedly or two. This wouldn't make any sense because it would be a guessing game, and I'm assuming they want to, they don't want to make you no keep guessing to get it. So I thought. What if instead of the book being on the wall, it's on the floor laying down? Because if we do that, then okay, yes, the book's probably going to open when you put it in. But if you do that, there's a very good chance we can just put the books wherever you want. Baffling bookcase has been added to the puzzle elements. There, I've sold it. Should I write the answer down in this book here? Oh yes. The face Madame Dublé's book. I'm sure she'd be delighted with that. You're right. Puzzles are no fun if you don't work out the answer for yourself. I'm not sure that's what he meant, but okay. Oh! Nice! Oh, banana! Hmm. The French doors looking out. The French door. What? Okay. The French door doors looking out over the garden are ajar. Yes. The lock doesn't seem co close prop. Ugh, sorry. Yes. The lock doesn't look doesn't close properly. A gentle push and the door pops open. Well, now to be sure, the OC comes to work out what they what that means. Obviously, there's a good chance Rex escape escape this way. You're not wrong. Watch where you're treading, Ernest. There's some banana skin on the floor here. Gosh, you're right. I'd probably have fallen flat on my face if you hadn't warned me, Cheryl. You wouldn't expect to find banana skins left lying around a place like this, would you? Okay, about the banana skin thing, I think that's supposed to be a myth, right? That perpetuated in cartoons, that if you step on them, you slip. I don't think that happens in real life. Mind you, I could be completely wrong. No, it's a little unexpected, but it seems reasonable to assume that someone ate some bananas and dropped the skins here. Presumably, Madame Dublé, seeing yeah, this is her parlor. A mother woman who can't be bothered to tidy up after herself, eh, cat? I am not that bad, Cheryl. I don't leave banana skins lay around, or lying around. Banana. How the hell is a banana skin a clue here? So how's the case shaping up, Cheryl? Have you managed to reduce where we'll find Rex now? Well, it's not exactly a lot to go on, is it? An open door has some banana skins. But if I had to reduce the missing cat's whereabouts from the available evidence, I'd have to say... Haha, mm, yes, Cheryl? Um, I'd have to say, uh, aha, the Rex slipped on the banana skin and fell straight out of the open door. Which means, Rex is in the garden. Brilliant, Cheryl. A great deduction based on what we know so far. Kinda? I don't think I can roll again zip on a banana peel, but he would jump down if he felt okay. We should go and search the garden at once. How's that then, cat? I'm earning my keep now, aren't I? Well, I certainly agree with what you, that we should go investigate the garden. Come along. <laughs> 